Hello, in this video, I will, I would like to show you how to simulate a uh, first order system using your Arduino board and code sees uh, that will be uh, communicating through Modbus. So in previous videos, I show you how you can connect your Arduino board to uh, your laptop and your code sees. Uh, soft PLC using Modbus. In this video, I would like to show you how you can simulate a uh, first order system and that will be um, reacting to the command or the input um, that will be sent from the uh, soft PLC code sys, soft PLC. So imagine that uh, we have a system that is that can be described by a, this numerator and this uh, denominator is just a first order system that in fact in this case you can imagine this is the uh, numerator of uh, the continuous time transfer function you know, in Laplace variable and this is the uh, denominator of the this transfer function so we have in this case, a system that uh, have, has this uh, gain, open loop gain, or the uh, we can say that low frequency gain is two, and the you have only one uh, time constant which is three here. So it means that, as you know, the uh, in this system, we can expect that we will have a, a settling time of um, 12, okay? And uh, so here I have this environment, this is just spider. And uh, so I, here I will show you how, how you can use Python language to uh, simulate or to see how this uh, system should react and then you can also uh, convert the transfer function from the continuous time to discrete time so for example here the first thing that you i will do is i import just this library uh, for plotting and then uh, this module control uh, that you can, in fact, use to, um, uh, you know, to to define, in fact, the transfer function, and you can, uh, in fact, take this control dot MATLAB. If, if you are familiar to MATLAB, so you can use the same syntax that is uh, all the MATLAB users are are familiar with so for example here we will define this transfer function just with this instruction tf and d here and uh, then i will plot the unit step uh, response just to see how this system will react and then i will convert this to discrete time through this instruction here and i will plot the discrete um, transfer function in terms of z variable here i will use a, a sampling time of 0 0.1 okay so when you run this program you can see here this is the uh, time response and uh, the system will have a a low frequency gain of two as you can see here and he um, as, as expected the settling time is almost 12 here okay so what is important for me here is that you have this numbers which will be the parameters for my simulation in the Arduino board. So now let's, let's go to this Arduino board. 
Okay. Okay. So here I will please remember that I am using this uh, simple Modbus slave library, and then what I will do is I will create this two new variables that will be float and the only thing that is new here okay i will initialize the variables of my uh, in analog input in 5000 and my analog output in 2000 uh, 2500 okay so then I will update my input U, and then this is the simulation uh, equation. Okay, you can see that we have the values that were there in our um, Python code. When we plot, you see here the values we obtain these two numbers here that you have to use again for the simulation here and it's very simple this is a very simple uh, system and then we the output will be in this register okay so as previously i will upload this code to my github account so you can test yourself Okay, so this is running in, already running in my Arduino, and then I will show you here what happened in uh, my CodeSys from the CodeSys uh, soft PLC point of view. So the, the only thing different from my previous program is that here I have defined a new variable u. And I have created a new channel here that will be and that correspond that will correspond to this new variable. It's a, an output from the soft PLC point of view. Okay, so and that's it because the only thing that I do with this new variable u is that I will assign to this new channel this new um, channel that I, I created in Mod Modbus so that now we have this, uh, we send this value to our Arduino board. So you can see here, I now I can, this output I, is associated with uh, our uh, of output in the Arduino board, okay, that uh, you you will see that is given by the simulation equation in discrete time, and this here is the uh, input that we can change. So you can see that, in fact, when I change this um, input here, so the output will move accordingly, okay? And as expected, here we have 3,000 and here we have 6,000. So, because of course the gain is two. And you can see that it takes some time to, um, this time to uh, reach its final value. So we can see what happens if we send the most zero here so you see how the output is moving on okay and uh, if we send here the maximum value so you can see that the output is also going towards the maximum value in this scale is 10,000. Okay, so now you can see how we can simulate a first order system.
using your Arduino board and code sys and Modbus communication.